can see Baron Buff Recall being channeled. That's going, going to be them going onto the back line. Maybe a bit of miscommunication Ooh. there as they... Oh, they actually go onto race. Has to flash away. And that's going to be the Hextech Ultimatum thrown down onto the Alistar who goes golden. Oh. And Jake doesn't even complete his ultimate into the back line. Goes Big Swift, soloing out Frey. And for the longest time, the Avarm lineup has been under a turret. That is too deep. Yeah, they've committed too far. They could not get the kill onto Raze. Unfortunately, Destiny ripped back by the Fates call. And Ryoma wasn't even there. If he was, it would have been a complete ace for the Chiefs. But he walks down from top lane, picks himself up a cheeky kill onto only. And Chiefs have the Baron and they're looking for the base. Caprize is taking so much damage. Oh. And the game the Chicken will be won by Legacy. Oh. Flash forward by Claire. Now he's going to look for the top laner as well. Paprize in deep, deep trouble. Where is the Rune Prism? There it is, oh. will be available. The three members of Tectonic are just chasing out Claire here. Does he die? No slow is really available. Yeah. Tom Taking coming Taking a play. lot of damage, however, on the back end. But speed up will be there. He nearly picks up. Oh, Whoa. the shield! The shield is there, and Claire will somehow live on the back end of this. And now Tom Kench will just be CC'd up. Legacy will find themselves around the Baron once more with no contest coming out from Swayze, you'd have to think. By process of elimination, there's really only one place that they could be. Yeah, dive now onto Swiper. You see that only is once again coming in. Dismount will be there. Swiper going very low. Only Karzik low. shoots over the jump, and Pabu just cannot get through. Swiper looking for the oh. 1v1 kill, and will survive. Burns again all of the summoner spells, and Zoe now coming down with Babip. Pabu oh. will fall, and Big Swip stands tall. Once again in the 2v1. Swiper reigns supreme there. The rest of his team coming down. But Bip and Ryoma cleaning up the kill on the back end of that. Only does get out with his life. But his he goes at half oh, out there. Engage over the wall. This time onto Jay. Cannot get the ultimate off. That's in a choke point. And they're looking to continue Blinky. to fight this one. Blinky goes massive. Takes down Mimic. And you can see Claire is struggling to put out the damage over the wall. That oh. will be the double kill picked up for Blinky. Dashing forward. Shockwave only hits one. Can Blinky keep going? He will be up and available in a moment. He gets the triple, and this could just be AV rushing up mid lane, 30 second death timers. And Legacy thought they had the pick, but AV turned it around. They do lose Jake, but committing everything onto the Braum means Blinky is just free to do all that damage. Four kills under his belt now. The Triforce just means he does that extra buy. Yeah, exactly right. You can see the additional attack speed coming out as well as the fact that the Qs are just a little bit punchier. Blobs. That's going to be Bloblitz already. Oh. Mimic goes in, doesn't get anyone, gets ultied up. Emperor Shurima, uh, Shurima Shuffle there, will be able to pick up some, and they manage to get three kills somehow, some way. Legacy still pull off that team fight. And Mimic TP's behind enemy lines and just can't get the engagement. Once again for Legacy, Claire comes up with the goods. He saves the day. That's two kills, three kills for them, and they're starting up the Baron. They legitimately 2v5 won that fight. They did. Claire legitimately, Claire and Mimic killed everyone. I mean, 